Hey everyone, and welcome to a fun Tuesday stream. Like, I'm excited at least. Um, so, after yesterday, I decided that it would be fun to kind of come back, do a part two. So, this part two has some of the items that I didn't get to yesterday, um, but it also has a few of the items that, <laughs> like, y'all either asked me to put in my carousel, like, live that I wasn't planning on, um, items I hadn't had a chance to make a video for yet. Um, yeah, isn't this fun? I felt like this was very inspired after yesterday's mushroom funnel, um, which for like sheer connection, I decided to put back in today for that exact reason. Um, and so yeah, this morning I was spending some time making some videos and just kind of getting into all of that. So if you have never tuned into one of these live streams, I'm Ashley, hi. Um, and so yesterday, like I said, was a part one. So today, welcome to part two. Um, and this is all kind of geared towards like, you know, fun, kind of affordable, like very, um, just kind of a little bit different style items for your kitchen. Some are gift ideas. Some are just, you know, those kind of items that you're like, you never knew you needed or you had never seen before. So it'll just be fun to kind of do something a little different and a little quirky. Um, of course, if you have any questions, let me know. Please just add it um, into the chat. Like if you see like my eyes kind of going over here, it's I'm watching the chat, um, at looking for any questions, all of that stuff. Also I'm running all the like analytics and the side screens and all of that. So let's get into this. So actually, this is one of those items that I shared yesterday um, that made it back into the carousel today um, because I saw it was on lightning deal yesterday. It wasn't. And I don't think that all of the colors are on lightning deal today. I know I missed, I think like the red one or something. I think it's already um, completely claimed um, right now, even being live, I see it being like 48%. So these do tend to um, kind of fill up or sell out as you want to call it. So if you've never shopped the lightning deal, they do go into your cart. You have 15 minutes. You'll literally see Amazon start that timer. You do need to check out um, or you'll miss it. Like I said, I was putting different colors into the stream and I think it was red that was already like sold out today. So of course you can still like get it. You just can't get the like discount price. So um that's where we're gonna start so this is a really cool little strainer i put this on a bowl um you can obviously put this on literally um, any kind of pot or pan that you have this is made of silicone so it clips right here onto the bowl and then it seals if you can see it, it's reflecting my ring light, but you can see that it kind of makes that seal right along the inside of the bowl. So then when you are cooking or um, straining or anything like that, pasta especially, all you need to do is take your pan, take your bowl, clip this onto the side, and then when you do tip it, you're gonna have this built-in, um, complete, easy to use a strainer, like right on the side of your bowl or right on the side of your pot, your pan, whichever. So because this is silicone, it is also very, very flexible. It's like very bendable. So if you have a smaller bowl, it will still clip onto there. It'll still seal along the side and on the inside. So you can clip it literally on different pots, different pans, different bowls. And then it just has these little clips. So it's super simple. You just slide the bowl or the pan or whatever you're using right in between, and then it clips on and it won't move. So yesterday somebody asked me if like it would come off and it absolutely won't. Like I feel like I would throw the bowl before I could get this little clip to come off um, of the bowl. So really, really cool little kind of a gadget, but especially if you're doing a lot of cooking, um, your hands are busy when you're cooking, your you know pot or pan or something is heavy that requires two hands to kind of dump it. Um, it's going to make your life so much easier. Um, and of course I keep referring to it as like pasta, um, but you could use it literally, you could use this to like rinse, 
fruits, vegetables, um, lettuce, if you're doing that, strawberries, we're getting into, like as we get closer to this summer and it's like more fruit season, any of those um, are a really good little like pick and option um, to use with that. So like I said, I just put it on my stainless steel bowl so I could like very easily demonstrate it for you guys. Um, but it would go on any kind of um, bowl or pan. So um, definitely wanted to start there, like I said, because I did notice that it was on lightning deal. Um, it's about 50% claimed or so. So um, if that disappears, then you won't get it. And that's just sad. <laughs> um, okay, so this is another deal that I wanted to start with. And then I'll probably get kind of like into the videos that I made this morning. It was very, I was having a lot of fun doing these today. Um, so these are the glass containers. I shared this yesterday as well, but the set that I saw, um, shared yesterday, I don't think is on deal anymore, but this is the exact same set. Um, it is a 12 containers, so it's 24 total pieces. The only difference is this version the one that I have and the one that I shared yesterday doesn't have the fluted side. So this is literally same brand. Joy Jolt is great. Um, and I've shared these glass containers a lot. They just have like a little bit more of a, I don't know, kind of elevated, upgraded, intricate style of glass container. It's exactly the same, which is why I'm still like sharing it and kind of demoing it, but they were 62% off. So I was like, okay, I'm redoing the stream with a few kind of favorites that I have. I might as well reshare these glass containers again. So, hey, Louise, a long time no see. Hi. Um, so like I mentioned, these do come in a set of 24. So it's going to be a small, medium and large in a square, a rectangle and a circular bowl style. And then the fourth size is always going to be two small. So it's two small, one medium, one large. And they're all made out of this really, really thick glass. Um, hey, Diana, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, these do come in, like I said, that kind of fluted style. That's the ones that are on deal today, but these are exactly the same. Um, just want to point that out. If you like the solid kind of glass instead of the more fluted design, I think they're, um, they're definitely still available. I think they're just a little bit more expensive. So, um, this glass is so crazy thick and that's one of the reasons I like it. I know glass is going to be, um, more like, you know, expensive than plastic or anything like that, but these will last so, so, so well. Um, and they're perfect for doing meal prep or making make ahead meals, saving your leftovers, freezing them because you can take these and they can go directly from the freezer into the microwave, into the oven. Um, and you don't have to worry about, you know, plastic would melt um, or like thinner glass might break with these will not they're definitely tempered and meant to do that i've actually had some followers share with me that they actually bake directly in these and then when they're done they just put the lid on and you know store it or take it to work or wherever i think that would be really cool for like individual little pot pies or like um brownies <laughs> i feel like you could take the small ones and make like a personal size like brownie i'd be into that um, and they're of course completely dishwasher safe. These lids are plastic, so I would tell you to take these off if you're going to put this into the you know oven. But I have definitely put these into the microwave or the um, dishwasher, and I've not had any issues. If you put them in on the top rack, it does say hand wash but i'm just going to tell you that i put them in the dishwasher so this is a little silicone seal and this is what makes them completely airtight and leak proof because this little clip is what clasps over this thick lip on the bowl or the rectangle or whatever um, and that silicone gives you that seal so i always tell everybody if you are washing these whether you're doing it by hand you're tossing in the dishwasher um, same with like your water bottle this comes out 
So I always tell everybody to take this out so you, you get into that little kind of crevice <laughs> so that when you're washing it, there's not little bits of food or anything kind of left over. If you've ever left like a, a protein shake or you've ever left something like that in your car for a long time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's pretty gross. So take that out. But this is a really great and super affordable set of glass meal prep containers. Like I mentioned, it does have 12 um, pieces. So your circular, your rectangle, and your square, um, small, medium, and large. So uh, Louis says, yeah, I, I know. I've yeah it only takes like leaving like milk or something like that i'm sure the parents have all like left milk in a bottle or something like that it only takes like one time to open it and go oh my god that's disgusting <laughs> to never ever um do it again so really really affordable set like i mentioned and i wanted to kind of re-add them into the stream today from yesterday um in this slight different kind of variation with that fluted glass um, because they're on a really good deal today. So here is an item that isn't on deal, but I was super, super excited um, to get this and then also to share it. Um, so these are coffee mug organizers. So I have a massive, massive, massive collection of coffee mugs and I kind of keep growing um, they just keep you know, getting more and more and more. And honestly, I don't have more and more space. Um, let's see. So I found these, which I think are super fun. And I made a little video this morning because I really feel like they look like best in action. Um, and then what I can do is I can kind of show you with like some of the glasses I have for the stream, um, what they look like in kind of like person. So um hey richard it is a long time no see i feel like i've been like wondering where you've been it's been welcome back so these come in a uh, set um i think there's six i think in the let's see one two three four five six yes so they come in a set of six and so they look like this it looks like a little like frisbee like throwing disc not gonna lie and they're expandable so you can see here i wanted to kind of show you like two different versions um, of coffee cups of coffee mugs so these will fit different size mugs because they're gonna open up and expand all oops, expand all the way out like this or they'll come all the way down. So there's a little side, like you can see, I'm telling you, these look like little drones, but you can see the little um, kind of holders on either side of the um, kind of like a stackable disc, I guess you could call it. So you can see here, it just kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. I am definitely guilty of like putting a glass in a glass and kind of stacking them, um, you know, and you're, and you're damaging them. Or if you like open up, um, the cabinet or something and something falls out that's always a bummer i've broken lots of mugs <laughs> like this and i just want to point out this could be used on like any kind of glass or any kind of mug it doesn't have to be um you know kind of a coffee mug so i just want to point that out and it's kind of like that one size fits all so in person if you want to see it um you can add it to the top and then here you can see that it's too big and so i'm just going to take my fingers i'm going to cinch it down so that it sits directly on all of the sides of the glasses and then you can just take whichever one is next from here and then you're just going to make sure that like you kind of pinch it so that it's hugging on all sides of the cup. So this doesn't like completely, like it doesn't lock. So these, um, you know, do have a little bit of slide, but something like this, stack it correctly here in your normal cabinet, like wouldn't be able to kind of stack on top of each other without, you know, potentially chipping or, you know, damaging the glass or definitely in that situation, they're very wobbly and a little bit of movement um, is going to 
kind of tip them off. So, um, <laughs> thanks, Richard. Um, appreciate it. So, like I said, this is a really great way to kind of organize your cabinets, especially if you have smaller, um, you know, cabinets, not a lot of storage space, or you're like me and you just have like a massive collection of mugs and glasses and, and the like. So these do come, like I said, in that set of six, they're completely kind of like one size fits all. And then you can stack your mugs, stack your cups, all of that. Um, I do think they come in colors. I obviously just have the black color. There is blue and orange if you like an aesthetic um, alongside your stacking mugs. But I'm telling you the amount of times I've broken glasses, especially like this, these are really thick and those like coffee mugs are all really thick. Um, but if you have more delicate glasses, this will be like a, not only a storage saver, but just like a full on like glassware saver as well. So, um, big fan. And I was like, like I said, very excited to kind of get to like share some <laughs> new videos that I filmed today, um, with y'all. So, um, in the spirit of glasses, since I was just talking about these um, kind of bar glasses, I'll just hop over to those um, so we can chat. This is another one of those items that, like I said, I kind of like re-added to the stream today um, just because they're popular and then also just because I love them and I like being able to <laughs> share some of those things kind of with you. So. Um, I have the kind of sea foamy kind of green color. These are really thick, old fashioned glasses. So they're obviously a drinkware glass. You could use them, um, you know, for cocktails, for punch, for, you know, every day, like you name it, you could obviously, um, you know, kind of put your beverage in here. I want to see, I was like pulling up a rack and of course, now I can't find it. There it is. So these come in a set of four. And if you've ever watched me um, share kind of like my favorite glass jar candles, they come in something like super, super similar to this really ornate glass, like super heavy. These are crystal. Um, you can see this really cool, like cute little design on the bottom. Really pretty for, you know, kind of upgrading a bar having like just new glasses in your home. Like I said, these could be a water glass. They could be punch cocktail, anything like that. Um, I personally just kind of like the light blue sea foamy kind of color. Um, but there is a really pretty like pink. There's that kind of like amber colored kind of orangey warm toned glass as well. Um, any of those, you know, all kind of um, come in this set of four. So really, really nice. Um, yesterday I did share a kind of like a crystal cocktail shaker that was also from the same brand. I got these first and then was like, these are amazing. And then started kind of peeping in on, um, you know, kind of everything else that this brand makes. And these were really, really good. Um, and really nice. So, um, hey, Soraya, I think, um, hello, <laughs> welcome um, to the stream. So let me, I'm just going to kind of keep going down and I'll talk about this dish drying rack really quickly. Um, I am going to highlight here on my stream. So depending on if you're watching on mobile or if you're watching on your desktop, you'll see the item highlighted. It's in red. Um, if you are on your mobile, it's a little um, uh, shopping bag on the right hand side. You'll click it. It's kind of like highlighted um, and it will kind of show you what we're talking about right now. So this is also another one of those um, you know, kind of kitchen finds, those little gadgets, doodads, whatever you want to call it, um, that do, um, <laughs> I know this is my very themed sweater today. I thought it was super fun. Um, so that's why it's here. Um, and to Betty, you do want to contact customer service. Unfortunately, I cannot help you with any, um, 
music concerns, unfortunately. So um, that is under your account information. On the very bottom, there is some contact stuff. So hopefully that helps. Um, and hopefully you have an answer. <laughs> um, so this dish drying rack, I've kind of shared in a few different variations. I saw it was on deal, so it's been a while since I've shared it and it definitely kind of falls under that kitchen finds, affordable finds, um, home gadgets. And so I, this is actually like my old, old like place that I've like two places ago, I guess. Um, and this countertop that you see right here is like the only countertop that I had. So I definitely didn't have room for like a countertop dish drying rack. And I only obviously had those two sinks, which is great. Um, but, <laughs> but I didn't want to take up all of that sink and all of that space. So this is where I kind of, you know, kind of first found the dish drying rack. And it's awesome because it works just for like, not just um, dishes in this case, for example, it could also be used as like a cooling rack um, for like cookies or hot casserole dishes, kind of takes the place of like those um, racks, like uh, I have some now that are like cork, <laughs> cork rounds, or I have some silicone pads or whatever to put hot pots pans, some, a dish out of the oven, something like that. But this could take the place of that as well because these are stainless steel um, rods that are very, very strong with a silicone band. So I've kind of unrolled it here. And like I said, these are stainless steel rods. So they're very strong. So if they're laying across and over um, your sink like that, this is the smaller one. And this is gonna be really great for, you know, larger pots, pans, glasses. It does hold up to like 30 pounds. So I don't think I could personally get like 30 pounds worth of dishes and pots and pans on this, but it is very strong. Um, and of course, with a stainless steel, you're not gonna have to worry about any kind of like a rust, um, any kind of like a damage. These would be very hard to bend. <laughs> um, and especially too, if you are using it for like a hot casserole dish, you're putting, um, you know, anything essentially on here and you need to wash it off really quickly. It would be an easy wipe clean. Um, silicone also very heat resistant and it's a little bit tacky. So when I'm rolling it out here on like more of like a granite countertop, you don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding because it does have just a little bit of that kind of tackiness that would hold it in place. So if you have different size um, sinks, they do have a few different um, kind of widths and lengths on there as well. Um, if you want something that's gonna be a little bit longer, um, that's gonna be a really good for like your larger sinks or your bigger like farmhouse sinks, um, you can kind of adjust the size accordingly. So mine's a little bit smaller. I think mine's the 17 and a half by like just under 14. Um, but there is one that is, like I said, that longer kind of like 16. And then there's one that's a lot wider for like more deep, um, bigger sinks that work really well for um, like that 20, 20.5 inches. Um, and like Yogi said, they work great for washing vegetables, drying vegetables. That's another really good one. Um, I love all of these like use cases. They're so great. And the best part is, of course, is that it does roll up. So it just rolls up into this tiny little roll. So if you have, um, you know, kind of a deeper drawer, you could put it in there. Um, if you have an, you know, space underneath your cabinet and a small little, you know, roll away cart, something like that, you can put this underneath your sink and it really tucks away super easily when you have limited space, like I did kind of here um, in this like condo, right? So these are awesome for that. Um, I did notice too, um, the one that I did link um, is the 17 and a half by just under 16, 15.7. It does also have a $4 off coupon. So you can stack that on top of that discount. So it makes it just over $10 or so um, for this specific size as well. So really great, super, super, super useful. Um, 
you know what? Bill has been slacking as a co-host for like weeks now. Like he's been he's been assuredly fired as my co-host. That's for sure. Um, I just can't trust that cat. <laughs> okay, so this is another one um, that I did do a little video for today. This is another one that I did share yesterday as well, but I felt like um, we did a ton of really fun, um, kind of like I said, kitchen gadgets, doodads, and the like. Um, there is a 20 uh, percent off coupon on this one. Um, and I'll let Richard add that in there for you. Um, but if you're looking at it, there is already a little bit of a discount, um, a 17% one, but you can stack that with the 20%. So I want to point out that you probably don't have to, I, I mean, if you don't want to, like you really don't have, um, to, um, put, like I peeled it, you probably really don't have to peel it because by kind of crush, crushing it and kind of mincing it up, it's going to pull off um, the skin or the kind of peel of the garlic anyway. But I, you know, I just like less mess later. So I didn't want to have to pick it out. So I just peeled it ahead of time. Um, but it's super, super simple. And you can see I just tossed like a single clove in there and it really only took a few, um, you know, turns of the kind of garlic crusher, garlic press to have it really minced up like super, super quickly. So I think that it's adorable simply because it's obviously a vampire and then obviously you're crushing garlic which i think is kind of awesome um but like i said there is a 20 percent off coupon for the garlic crusher vampire there we go i'm just like talk to texting it's so much easier <laughs> um and then i still somehow got i said in there but that's fine um, hey, Crystal, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, and so it's this very lightweight little kind of kitchen gadget. Like I said, um, this is kind of made of a uh, plastic material, but you don't have to worry. Um, you can toss it into the, um, I think you can toss it into the dishwasher. I have yet, honestly, I said it does say to, um, it does say to hand wash, but I think that you could totally put it in the dishwasher and not. I'm like not the person to ask about hand washing sometimes versus dishwashering because I feel like everything goes in the dishwasher until it doesn't. <laughs> so it's definitely a very like a food grade, very thick a plastic, um, all completely BPA free. Um, but of course it would honestly take two seconds to do a little hand wash. You can actually see I was doing the garlic earlier and I hand washed it. <laughs> um, so it takes like two seconds. Um, but you can see the little teeth in here. You simply just kind of line them up. There's the little center. And seriously, you can see in the video, I did like four, five, six turns. Obviously, the more that you do turn um, the garlic crusher, the more it's going to be crushed. Or if you're adding, um, you know, kind of more garlic in there or something like that. So definitely you could still use it for other things if you want to use it for like um, uh, ginger or nuts or any kind of like other whatever. Um, you can obviously do that. And like I said, you don't have to peel it. You can absolutely just toss it in there with like the peel still on. I did just because I was like, oh, I, I just would rather um, peel it first and then not pick out any, but you can absolutely do it with the peel still on. It will separate it, of course. So, um, hey, Stevie, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So again, it doesn't have to just be used for garlic. You could use herbs, you could use nuts, you could use anything that you would use like a grinder or a crusher for um, really, really easy to use that way. So super fun little gadget um, that I wanted to share. And for my namesake, or not my namesake, for my sweater's sake today, I felt like we did want to, I made this little video today. Um, also another one for um, fun little kitchen gadgets. And it's very fitting like today. I feel like Mario. Like I, like I need to, I don't even have, 
I miss Nintendo. I have an Xbox, and I haven't played a Nintendo game in a while. So I'm, like, talking about Mario, and I'm like, mm. I The amount of Mario Party that I have played in my lifetime is hours and hours. And it's probably to the point where it's, like, days and days now, but it's fun. So this is a mushroom funnel. It is a foldable kitchen funnel. Um, what am I playing right now? So, okay. So here's what happened. I... <laughs> um, so I'm a huge Resident Evil fan and I've been playing Diablo forever and I so yeah so here's my thing so I've been playing Diablo forever and after the last season ended I was like I need a new game I downloaded um, or bought download whatever the newest I think Resident Evil it's like uh, the village it's the one that came out after seven or after Biohazard uh, it was completely different if you've ever played Resident Evil, but it actually got kind of good. Um, yeah, it actually got kind of good. So I, but I just finished that and there is a very large hole <laughs> in my gaming world right now. So somebody suggested, um, I've never played any of the Witcher games, so I downloaded the Witcher 3. So we'll see. I'm, apparently it's one of the like best games, like of all time. If I had to tell you my favorite Xbox game, um, probably like Red Dead Redemption 2, probably. Like I love an open world concept game over and over and over again. Um, if you like a good like third person shooter, I love Gears of War. I don't know. I'm not a Halo kid though. Like I like it. I've played it. It's just not my favorite. I don't know. Um, yeah, so anyway, I could talk video games all day, but we are not. Um, but yeah, find me in any kind of like RPG, MMO RPG, like that's usually where I'll be. So I'm throwing it back. I think Witcher 3 is from like 2017 or something like that. Um, so far, graphics like hold up. So cool. Anyway, mushroom funnel. <laughs> this is why uh, streaming with me gets like completely off track, but so yesterday I did share this little foldable funnel that I've literally been folding and playing with as we've been talking about video games. Um, it is made of silicone, so this is completely, um, again, BPA free, really soft, um, very, you know, a squishy, bendable. Um, this is the smaller one. There are two versions. This is the um, small, the extra large is a little bit wider. Um, and what's really cool about this is it acts obviously as a little funnel and I wanted to kind of show you in the video because obviously the kind of like go-to use would be something liquid in this case I just did like balsamic vinegar um, but it also could be used for something that is um, you know completely uh, dry in this case I use sugar so okay so Fortnite I know so I went through a list and I have never played Skyrim either. And I was like, if I play, f and like Fortnite kind of falls in that same category. And I was like, I can't do that. If I do that, I will never come up for air. So I went with, <laughs> I went with Witcher. So we'll see. I, it's definitely on my list. Um, Kingdom Come, I heard, was also a really good one. Um, I have a list. I made like a full list, so. I have to finish one though before I can go to another like I have it's just it's like how my brain works but yeah anyway I feel like I should just sit and like game one day on a live stream but no one would watch that would be very boring for everybody else um I really like using the silicone um, funnel. Obviously, you can use it for many, many cases. It's dishwasher safe because it is, um, you know, silicone. But I personally think it would be really good for like hot grease and things like that if you were cooking like bacon because it's not going to stick to this. Um, you're not going to have to worry about damaging it. And then you can see when I was using like um balsamic vinegar you can see just how non-stick silicone is you can see it just like literally could be wiped clean in like seconds so really cute fun little find um and like i said i do have the smaller one so if you're looking and you're like this is really small there is that extra large one it's a really great little um 
kitchen doodad. And then of course, this could sit on top of a jar or something like that and act as like a little cover. Um, it obviously still has that little hole on top, but it's really still still fun for that reason. Would it, I don't think it would be fun. I think the only thing that would be fun about watching gaming is that people would be like, whoa, that's a girl, she's gaming, blah. But then I would like to be like, I'm not like, the, the, like, um, like I said, I just started Witcher and like there are a ridiculous amount of like controls and combos and I'm still like learning and I feel like a, a child um, playing right now. So I, <laughs> I have to kind of get my um, bearings with it yet. So we'll see. But I also like turned it on and I was like, there's like four different like difficulty settings and I was like, oh, I'm going to go with like three, three or four, and then I turned it down a little bit, and I was like, maybe not quite yet. Get the controls down first, but that's fine. So, also, we're just going to go, like, because I'm already, like, you know, I've went off the rails with some of these kitchen kind of um, gifts and gadgets and, you know, kind of fun um, hidden finds, I guess you could say. Might as well go back to my little Monstera spoon. It's also really great. Um, it would be really good for like spaghetti or any kind of um, claw-esque <laughs> I mean, it's, it's basically a spaghetti spoon, but anything else you might use for, I guess you could use it more for like, um, I don't know, salads and things like that. But it is a slotted spoon, so these are, of course, are your little holes, and then you have the little cutouts here on the side. I know that for most people, they're probably like, okay, that's silly. But what I want to say is if you have like a plant lover, um, I think it's awesome. But I was really thinking about like parties and, you know, that kind of um, style of event right like so I also have like the Nessie like different kinds of spoons and stuff in the stream and I was absolutely kind of thinking about kids and kids parties and stuff like this so I feel like if you're having a plant party or you're having a you know kind of themed party like outdoors or spring um <laughs> Thank you. I'm telling you, the sweater was like a calculated thought on what I wanted to wear today. Um, and so this is actually made of nylon. It kind of feels like a plastic material, but because of that, it's non-stick and it's really heat resistant. Um, you know, not much is going to be more heat resistant um, than like silicone for example but definitely going to be very heat resistant which means you can also put it into the dishwasher but it would be a fun little kind of um kind of a party or just something a little bit different to kind of spruce up your home and spruce up your kitchen um and this again was one of those items that i shared yesterday that was like super popular i was kind of like looking and talking to some of y'all after the stream and you're like this is so fun so felt like it should be shared again that's a really inexpensive and sometimes I like to think of like quirky fun gift ideas so again um, I would use this for a plant lover you could actually like we're talking that it's food and it's food grade and all that but you could absolutely use this in like an outdoor context too like if you were using it for um, you could absolutely use this as like a dirt spoon and stuff um, there is holes but if you have like a thicker kind of like peatier um, or kind of gravel or mixed dirt, you could totally use this for it. So many uses, but it's super fun. Um, hence why it made it back into the stream again today. Um, all right, let's switch over just for a little bit. We'll go into like a more, uh, serious mode for a second. Um, <laughs> and chat about, I'm glad that everybody likes my sweater. Cause I was like kind of on the, um, <laughs> perfect for my level. Um, <clears throat> I love it. So, um, I love that this was called like a TikTok made me buy it. So I've been using Piercy. I share and I have shared two different variations um, of like kind of like more um, 
like, uh, I don't want to say healthier is the wrong word, but like I've used a um, couple of different kind of cleaning, whether it's like a spot cleaning or a spray or things like that, that are going to be a little bit more um, of like, I guess you could say like that kind of free and clear, right? It's just going to be a... Um, See, I, again, it's like a plant-based, um, like in the case of like Puracy, like in the spray or the laundry um, stain removers and stuff that I've used before and shared, it's all plant-based. And so that's kind of what this is, but it's actually in a dishwasher pod. So those of you know, I just throw everything in the dishwasher um, because, <laughs> because I just do. Um, and so this is a really good option for those of you um, who, I caught that. Um, for those of you like me who toss everything in, this is a really great um, pod, right? I definitely use this kind of pod because I feel like most of the time I'm like buy something in bulk, buy powder or buy liquid. But in the case of this, especially when it comes to dishwashers, I always use like way, way too much. And then it kind of doesn't um, rinse off of the dishes like it should. So much better for me to use a pod when it comes to dishes and dishwasher. Um, and it's nice because with this um, style kind of a cleaning pad, you don't have to run like a pre-rinse. You don't have to run like a rinse aid or anything with it. It's all kind of like put together in one and it doesn't use like all those like harsh chemicals in maybe, you know, your more um, known brands, let's say it like that. Um, and you don't have to worry about needing something else to kind of do that extra um, kind of like rinse after. So if you've had issues kind of with dishes kind of being like a spotty or, you know, not getting as clean or having more of that film, this is a really great, like I said, plant-based option um, to put into your dishwasher. They do break down they don't leave any of that kind of gunk or grime or anything like that on your dishes. Um, and it's a really effective um, dishwasher pod that, like I said, doesn't use all of those extra um, kind of chemicals and all of that extra just like junk. Um, and definitely, um, I'm also guilty of not doing a very good job of pre-washing. And so this actually is really good <laughs> for that. Um, and anything that's you know kind of it's meant to go on anything dishwasher safe it doesn't have to be glass doesn't have to be ceramic anything like that if it can go into the dishwasher um you know this will work really well for that and um leave it nice and <laughs> clean what is pre-washing correct that is the only option <laughs> like I, read, I heard somewhere, somebody once said that it's not a dishwasher, it's a dish sanitizer, and I beg to differ. Um, so, whatever. Um, let me go. I realized as we're talking that I should have started here with these ice cube trays um, be, <laughs> because they're starting to melt in my office. Sorry, guys. I literally took these out of the freezer just a little bit ago um, because we have been talking about silicone cube trays. Oh, man. I messed up on this one. So I'm going to, like, pour these out. So silicone trays, these specifically are, <laughs> if they come out of the freezer, they're going to be a lot better. But um, this comes in a those large ice cubes. So if you're making a cocktail, you're like me and you like love a good old fashioned, you want that like big ice cube. So these make those really big square cubes. And in this case, mine started to melt. So I'm sorry, guys. Um, I should have started here <laughs> um, today. So here's your Man, they started to melt. I'm sorry, guys. So you have your large cube here. There you go. But what's nice about the silicone... I'm getting that everywhere. Um, what's nice about the silicone trays is, in this case, right, I can just pop out the ice cube because it's super bendable and flexible. And in this case, silicone, of course, if you're using these instead to do some sort of um, like I actually really like, I saw somebody do, 
Um, and I actually have a recipe on my website too, where they put coffee into like, you know, at the end of the day, if you didn't drink all of the coffee in your pot and you pour them into an ice cube tray like this, and then you use it later in like a cold brew sense. Or for me, I actually have like frozen coffee and put it into a, um, you are welcome. It's good to see you also, Louise. Um, you can actually, I put them into like a smoothie as like the ice cubes, but then you have the little bit of coffee and all of that in there too. So it doesn't have to be ice, um, but it makes it really flexible. I think uh, what Terry said, the purple silicone ice cube trays, these are actually really um, inexpensive. Like the one um, that I linked is like five bucks. It was in the overstock today. And I know that we've talked a lot about these for like cocktails in the past. And I was like, oh, I want to share these um before you know like while they're on a good deal so in this case like I said we only actually I only had two in here <laughs> I use this um and they work really well for those really large big single ice cubes um for those style of cocktails and stuff do you use um so you can probably tell that I use tap water because I think if you're what is it if your ice is cloudy it's not like pure water i just use tap water but um you could oof v8 fruit drinks i like that um you could use either if you are more of a purist you could use the bottled water if you you know i just use tap water um but oregon well water is delicious so uh, but you could use whatever yeah freeze ice um or freeze ice freeze fruit um you could make almost like little popsicles honestly these are big enough that you could do something like that um freeze coffee i've seen some really cool ones where people make up um like a little herb block so they might kind of make up like they're if they have a lot of fresh herbs and they'll put it into the water and then when they do want fresh herbs they'll just take it out and put it into their cooking pot into their pan whatever like that as a way to kind of use fresh herbs and not let them go to waste I've seen some really cool recipes like that um but i literally just put them in a nice a nice drink at the end of the day <laughs> um okay so let's chat let's go over here so i'm gonna slide it back because we do have a couple like deals and the like today that i didn't want to miss out on so this is another one that i shared yesterday um that i put back in because it was still on deal today so it's just under 10 and this is another kind of silicone find this one's going to work really well for those of you like myself who have like a glass cooktop so in this case obviously um if you, or even honestly, I say glass cooktop because I have an electric stove, but if you had um, gas or you had induction or anything like that, you still are pr prone to like scraping, um, you know, silverware, spatulas, spoons, anything like that on the top of um, your cooktop. So like yesterday, I have these like sitting next to me, so I'm gonna use these. Um, but if you were cooking, and you're kind of going back and forth between pots and pans this can go near your stove or you know close to the heat of the stove and you aren't going to have to worry about this melting or burning or again if you had a spoon rest that is made of metal or ceramic there is a chance it's still going to scratch um, on top of you know your electric stove your glass cooktops um, even with like a stainless steel can always kind of get a little scratched up so silicone, of course, very, very heat resistant. So it will help to absorb that and you can just keep it right nearby. So this is the smaller version as well. So there are two variations. Again, I kind of talked about that a little yesterday. This is the medium, the extra large. This is about five and a, this is obviously a five and a half by five and a half square. The... Mm -hmm. 
The extra large version is a little bit longer. Um, it's about seven by eight. So it's a little bit more of a rectangular version. But if you have larger spoons or larger kind of dishware, um, you might wanna use the larger one, especially if you're outside. Um, like if you're someone who's grilling or doing things like that, I would probably recommend the extra large version. I used these yesterday, they're still next to my desk. Um, for, for that to set these on so that you have a larger space to put down like tongs or like big spatulas if you're out and you're grilling and you're flipping burgers or meat or whatever. Um, but both of these are really great option and they come in tons and tons and tons of colors. Um, of course I have this little minty kind of green sea foamy color. Um, but super useful to kind of, again, it can keep in your kitchen, um, whether you have this smaller version, that's the more square version, or you have um, the larger one for indoor, outdoor, great to be around super hot areas. Um, or cooking potato soup, see, there you go. Any of those options, anywhere that you're kind of concerned um, about you know, being too hot for metal or anything like that, um, or scratching your cooktop, this is a great replacement. Also, silicone right into the um, dishwasher, even if it's greasy or oily, again, from like the grill or cooking or like whatever. So um, just toss it in there, easy. Super, super simple, but if you wanna hand wash it, it wipes off so fast too. Um, okay, so the, um, like I said, did add a bunch of new stuff in here today, but I also wanted to follow up with some that are still on deals. And where did it go? So I made a video, I haven't uploaded it yet, but I did make a video today. I put, if you saw the mushroom funnel, this is what I was using the mushroom funnel on. Um, this is the balsamic vinegar now. Um, these do come in a set of two. These are really heavy glass containers. And then they have the um, kind of oil dispenser or liquid dispenser. Of course, I use balsamic vinegar um, up here on the top. So it does have that silicone stopper. So that's going to keep everything from dripping or leaking or spilling right here at the top of the bottle. And then, of course, you have your kind of like in this case, there you go, kind of like a controlled pour um, from the very top. Or you could use these, I guess I should angle this a little bit better. Or you could use these on your table to, um, you know, be your balsamic vinegar and your olive oil if you're using it for a party or you're just keeping it, you know, around. This is something you use frequently, you could sit on the countertop. They do come with these stickers that are already pre-made. So I have them here. So there's a ton of options. So of course you don't have to use it for oil. You don't have to use it for vinegar. Um, there's a lot of different kind of options here you have cooking wines these are going to be your like um syrups for your coffees red wine vinegar rice vinegar toffee is delicious caramel would be amazing if caramel wouldn't come fyi that's again syrup it's not gonna something like caramel um, would not make it through that smaller um, spout but if you do want to just use it for whatever you want it does also come with some blank ones so there are two full sheets like this um, this is the other one so again lots and lots of different kinds of oil Oop, wrong way lots of different kinds of oil vinegars um, again your syrups and things like that um, really great little fun are the stickers dishwasher safe no I probably would not wash these um, I think you could easily like wipe them down I wouldn't put these in the dishwasher um, I can look really quick just to be sure but I'm gonna go with no don't do that <laughs> uh, yeah I'm just gonna say no it's gonna be a safe <laughs> safe assumption uh, it does not say see more product details yeah hand, I would just hand wash them just to be safe but um, they do they're easy to wipe down so these are kind of like that um, gloss label so if you did like um, spill something on here I think it would wipe off really easily it wouldn't kind of sink into the label um, but yeah I wouldn't put that into the dishwasher they're not um, vinyl enough I don't think for that 
Um, and it also does come with a little funnel for you to use as well if you don't have a mushroom funnel. It does come with its own little funnel as well. So like I mentioned, that is a set of two. Um, and so I have the gold variation and that's what I have highlighted. But of course, if you prefer the silver, um, there's also that option. I have that highlighted right now in the stream as well. So, okay, popcorn time. I made a video. I was just like proud of some of my video making today and I ended up having to, um, the popcorn is currently in a bowl because I didn't have a chance. I haven't eaten it yet, but I also wanted to show you how it kind of like breaks down and folds down. So obviously I couldn't have it full of, um, popcorn right now. So this is another silicone fine. It also matched, look at this, we're matchy today, very matchy. Um, so super easy to use. And the reason that I love a popcorn popper kind of in, you know, kind of, you know, in lieu of a bag of popcorn is I hate that slimy, weird film taste that you get in your mouth from um, like that just fake butter stuff. I'm just going to call it stuff um, that you get in like a bag of popcorn. So this is a really great way to just like completely customize your own personal popcorn experience. I personally just like to do um, like melted butter and pour it over top with like big chunky salt. But if anybody is, um, you know, trying to kind of limit maybe the oil or the butter or the additives, chemicals, anything like that in their diet, this is a great way um, to do so because it doesn't require any um, <laughs> it doesn't require any oil butter or anything so um, you know what here's the thing she is not eating the popcorn because I was like terrified that I would have it in my teeth <laughs> for this stream like they get stuck or like that kind of like shell or kernel always gets stuck like in the back of your molars and you can't find it anyway so really, really simple to use. And like I said, another good option for a space saving find. So completely, you know, bendable, flexible, can go into the dishwasher very quickly, very easily. Um, and it also acts as its own bowl, which is great. So it folds down just kind of like this. And this is the popcorn popper lid. So you can see in my video, you probably should measure um, your popcorn. I don't know. I just pour it in. Um, there's a couple lines here on, there's like a hair in here. There's a couple lines here on the bottom. You can see where I had popcorn in here. I haven't washed it yet. Um, where you can pour your kernels up to. Um, but I just honestly kind of pour it in. I eyeball it and I toss it in. If you fill it all the way up and it pops all the way up to the rim here with that lid, it's going to be about 15 cups of popcorn. So I don't know how many pop, I don't know how many, you know, cups that was, but more than enough for a like a personal popcorn size. So literally just toss in your kernels in here. You want to add this little lid. It's what kind of like steams the popcorn and it sits in just like this. Super simple. Oop super simple. And then it just toss it into the microwave. If you um, have a popcorn button, use that. If you don't, um, I just do about two minutes and 30 seconds. You'll hear it popping. If you don't think enough is you know, popped or if you think um, it's still kind of popping, I would just do another 30 seconds or something like that. It won't really hurt it, but you will kind of pop all those extra kernels. Um, you know, there's always going to be some kernels in the bottom that don't fully pop. Um, but as long as you do it, I would say for at least that two and a half minutes, then um, you're going to, you know, kind of get them all popped up. But this case, no salt, no butter, nothing's on it. So I just, like I said, melt a little bit of butter and I just kind of pour it over top, chunky salt, shake it up. I've seen, um, 
Hey Addison, uh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, Yogi, I had trail mix and very good. That's also good. Um, you could add in any any kind you want. Like some people do, like if you want to make caramel corn, you could do like a little bit of caramel drizzle over it. Um, you could do you know, anything that you would like, um, really. Um, to Amazon customer, hello. So if you're watching on your desktop or you're watching on your mobile, this is a online live shopping platform. I'm completely live, so if you have questions, you can ask. Um, I'm just kind of demonstrating some of my favorite little kitchen items, gadgets, gizmos, all of that good stuff. Um, if you see something that you like and you want to uh, purchase it, if you're on your mobile on the right hand side, there is a little um, purse or shopping bag icon. You can click on that. Everything that I'm talking about in the live stream is listed. Um, if you're on your desktop, what I'm talking about now will be highlighted in a red box, but you can shop through anything in the carousel at any point ask any questions um thank you my whole house is very retro <laughs> so it's obviously that is a new retro microwave um but i actually have like a really really old like i bought it and it is old um electric mixer but it's a stand mixer too i love like all old stuff like so much of the stuff in my house is like Thrifted is the wrong word when you're going to like antique malls and stuff like that, but I love going to like small towns in the middle of nowhere um, and going into antique malls, finding things like it's so fun. Um, that microwave obviously meant to look old, but um, I do have many other things <laughs> in the house that is. So thanks Amazon customer for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, so many, many colors, um, just like uh, whoever might have just said, I didn't see it. Um, Oh, Addison said that has it in black. There's many colors, of course, I have red. <laughs> um, there's 10-ish or so, maybe 15 colors, um, but super useful. And it's also another way to just save a little bit of extra money because you can go and you can buy your kernels in bulk, Costco, Sam's Club, wherever um, you might go. And then that way, just use what you need when you need it. Um, I bet I poured maybe a quarter cup in there, probably not even, and you can see how much popcorn it made. Um, I don't, you know what, this is almost green, let's be honest, so, um, thank you, I appreciate it. I can link it if you all want, but I was like, I'm gonna match today, it's gonna be a good time. Um, thank you. Um, okay, so let me skip over a couple things because we've just kind of talked about things recently. Um, bloop. let's go into, okay, so while we're talking just about, um, you know, fun things, fun things for your home, um, I did share these yesterday and actually I had a request for the spaghetti ladle kind of version. So there's a lot of different variations of this set. So I did link just like two. Um, the one I have highlighted right now is the set of three and it's a spoon. It is a kind of colander strainer spoon or ladle. And then it's also a tea infuser. So this goes back to what I was saying a little bit earlier <laughs> about um, kind of like party themes or kids party themes or things like that and that's what I like this for although I'm an adult who's a child too so this is like right up my alley um but if you also just want like a quirky little fun gift idea this is a good option for that um and so <laughs> I'm just a kid at heart let's be honest I want to say I'm gonna put this into the chat because I think it's super important um Let's see here, let me add it. Let's see, I'll just do the talk to text again. There is a 40% off a coupon for the set of three Loch Ness ladles. 
Is that what you would call it? I guess you would call it. Um, so obviously, yes, it does look a little bit more expensive in the carousel, um, but it does have that 40% off coupon code. So um, if you're looking at that and you're looking kind of like live with me. So um, Tamalia. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was not. That's my go-to. Um, so like I said, this is a set of three. Definitely take care, um, take advantage of that discount, that coupon code. But this is a super cute little idea, again, for a kid's party or something. Um, like, or, see, okay, like Michelle said, she has a Wiley Coyote spatula. See, this is fun. You, you're never too old to like be a kid, right? Um, so <laughs> this does come in that set of three three so these are the two ladles and the two spoons so this is the largest one you can see it is a strainer spoon has a little ladle handle this is definitely the biggest one and it does also have feet so it will stand not on my hand really but it will stand on its own on a table kind of rocks forward just a little bit um and then this one is another kind of like punch ladle uh soup you know, anywhere you would use a ladle, you can use this one. Um, and then the third one is a silicone version. So this one is a tea infuser, but you could honestly do any kind of infusions with this. It just pulls apart here really easy. And you can see the um, kind of like, I don't know, strainer, I guess you could say, holes so that you could you know, put fruit, you could put your tea bag, you could put your, obviously your ground tea, but um, anything like that that you want to add in. Um, chocolate, if you're making like a little chocolate bomb, it also kind of works as a spoon as well, like a very big <laughs> round one, right? But it can work just like that as you're doing those kind of infusions. Also, um, if you're you know, you live somewhere that airplanes fly over, so you can hear that in the background. It's fine. This is fine. This is happening. Um, so really fun, kind of a little cute idea. Um, and like I said, anytime that you have um, children or if you just like want something kind of fun, um, I know I keep talking about these being like in the kitchen or things like that, but you, <laughs> I know, I like trying to like talk over it and it's like, just going to do it's like there's these like little like small planes too it's not even like big planes doesn't matter um but you know i keep talking about these like in the kitchen and things like that you could easily use these in all sorts of other um different kind of places you could use these like in like um any kind of like a craft style application you could use these as spoons and ladles for that you could use these like with bathtub time and things um to kind of play along with there too um you know again possibilities endless doesn't have to just be for the kitchen um, i think it's a really cute little like play um option and then for us adults like one that um we you know um, okay, I'm just gonna put, this is definitely a kitchen stream, but I'm just gonna put my um, sweater in, in the stream while we're talking about it. Um, and so yesterday, because I did have a request um, for one that's more of like that kind of like a spaghetti um, style strainer, there is a larger set of that kind of like Nessie family. Um, Yes, I can. Um, everybody, I was like switching out of my stream so I could add the sweater. Um, this is the set of three. Also, it's called the like Papa Nessie set. And this one does have the um, spoon set, but then it also does have the ladle and it has um, the spaghetti spoon as well. So that one doesn't have a discount code. So that one's definitely a bit more, um, but I did want to share that. Okay. Questions on my cardigan. I will, um, can you show us a shutter button? Okay. Yes, I can. Oh, I have to like stand up very carefully. Um, so it's from the brand Sweaty Rocks. Step back here. Um, and it has little brown buttons. It's like slight it's like slightly cropped 
Um, this is like my pants, but slightly cropped. It's long sleeved. Cute. It has little brown kind of buttons, like little tortoise shell buttons. Oh no. There we go. I'm going to sit down very carefully now. Um, so yeah, it's super cute. It's fun. So since everyone, this is definitely a kitchen stream, but since everyone's been asking, um, I wanted to link it and to share it. There's like tons and tons of different options um, from the same brand. Um, there's one that's like blue and there's one actually that's pink with mushrooms. I feel like they had one around Valentine's Day that had hearts on it, but I don't see that one. Um, but yes, you all know I had to get green, like, duh. <laughs> but thank you. Um, and then it's it comes in like your standard sizes. I think it's like extra small through extra large. Um, and I think I'm wearing small. So I think that's like, I can't see right now. But my normal size on that. <laughs> I know somehow I went from like coziness and cozy things all the way to like we went like the far opposite end to like mushrooms I don't know um okay so we did talk about all of the okay so we did talk about all the Nessie um ladles and the different kind of variations really fun like I said gift idea or for a kid's party for an adult <laughs> let's be honest um, okay, so since we're talking about adult things, I did highlight <laughs> the magic of mushrooms. Yes. Um, I did want, I think I shared this back around, um, Christmas. I think I shared as like wine lovers, kind of like a gift idea. Um, but I do think this would be kind of in line again with like a really cute, um, gift idea, or you could do something, um, you know, again, garden party, outdoor party, hostess, baby shower, um, wedding gift, new homeowners. There's a lot of different kind of like options for this, but I think these are like very elevated, very upscale, like very, very pretty um, glasses. And they're also very delicate, but they do come in a full kind of set. So I did notice it has a like 30% off discount on it. And I think there's just a clear version as well if you're not a fan of this kind of like a blush pink color. Um, but I wanted to share this set. So these are really large um, wine glasses, <laughs> rather. Um, and you can see on here that they do have that kind of like a fluted design. So this is like when I was talking about the um, the like food containers from earlier this is like what that looks like that kind of like a fluted design so really really pretty um just a glass and i do think if you depending on where you live and if you're near like an amazon warehouse i think you could actually get these like to buy tomorrow if you're thinking valentine's day or you could definitely get it before the weekend if you're celebrating on a not Wednesday. Um, and so you can see that they have this gold ring here all around the top and then this really light kind of like blush pink, but it gets a little bit darker where the glass is a little bit thicker. Um, but this has that very delicate, very thin kind of stem of the wine glass. And you can see how large these are. These are a 14 ounce glass. So they're a very <laughs> large um, pour. And what I do like about these is they are like hand blown as well um, and the bam they're by the bamboo abode um, which is actually a small business as well so really cute um, glasses that do come in a set of two but they also come with these really heavy wine stopper slash kind of like alternative corks so these are both glass or glass they're both gold and they have the little silicone rings here so when it goes into the top of the bottle of wine it kind of acts again as that stopper um, but makes a, for a very aesthetic little wine um, kind of accessory and then it also does have a gold wine key or corkscrew or kind of like whatever you want to refer to this as um, so it kind of comes in that complete set so that's why I love it for a gift idea it actually comes I've long since taken mine out of the box but it does come in a really nice box that's kind of like perfect for gift giving almost kind of like wrapped up for itself 
a really fun um, super super pretty um, set and like I said I'm a little late for Valentine's Day but if you're celebrating this weekend or even in the next couple of days I think that um, you could probably get it in time depending on where you live or how close you are to that kind of like warehouse um, see isn't that fun I like again it would be so pretty for um, you know any kind of shower any kind of party outdoor um probably a little bit too big for like a wedding uh shindig um unless you want everybody drinking all that wine but still really pretty um, and another kind of easy way to upgrade your home bar. So um, this of course is that blush pink as I mentioned but there is kind of a little bit um, darker. Um, there is a clear but then there's also kind of almost like a smoky haze version um, that's really pretty as well too. I know I like you know I was trying to avoid I was trying to like walk it back but we're here we are. Um, okay, so I think I only have like two things left on here. Um, and I don't want to break these, so I'm going to set it down very carefully. Uh, you'll hear it just like crunch. So, uh, let's go this way. <laughs> so, um, okay. I did forget one other thing, but that's okay. We can get back to that. So I'm going to highlight um, these is the smoky haze silver rim and stoppers you know what let me look because i have the pink ones <laughs> i do think that the the gray uh no it looks like the gray still has the gold it would be honestly i think you're right i think it'd be cooler with the kind of like either like a black rim or a silver rim um but it looks like the silver rim has gold too i would say yeah i would say it'd be much better with i like that anyway um okay so another kind of variation you guys already saw like the jars that i use for everything i have tons of mason jars like old like ball jars um and so these are another kind of variation that i use a lot too these are like um glass canisters but then they have a bamboo lid so i use these a lot this is um like my brown sugar was in this one um i also have like nuts in this one so you can use these for a lot of different things i use these more in like my pantry this um bamboo is like treated and this is like um you know very durable like bamboo is a very durable wood but my personal um kind of like preference is to not keep anything like a liquid in here um you know because you can put the dishwasher into um or you can dishwasher into you can put the glass into the dishwasher which you're gonna want to hand wash the lids so this is generally like you guys know my affinity for the dishwasher so this is why i usually keep all like dry goods in here but sometimes you will have some kind of uh, deterioration of the bamboo if you're putting liquid in it um, or getting it wet definitely don't put these in the dishwasher um so what's nice is they do come in a variety of different sizes um so this one i think is what is this like i want to say this is like the five inch or so there is a smaller one which i think is like four inches there's a larger one that's a little bit taller as well like this so in this instance i have um you know pecans in here and I feel like I walked into that one too because I was like, people are either going to say it's pecan or pecan or pecan. I will not say pecan. Um, pecan or pecan just depends on the day, I think, when I'm talking or how fast I'm talking. Um, hey, Mahura, Mahura, um, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. So um these are tall enough though like i mentioned um to put something like pasta in it without having to like break it you could also you know use any kind of different dry goods in here but what's nice about this especially with like a brown sugar for example if you leave it in that plastic bag that it comes in um a lot of times it gets really really hard so because these have like an airtight seal let's see if you can hear it there you go. Like you can kind of hear the air get like pushed out. 
sugar yeah <laughs> these um really do kind of help keep them um fresher longer because it keeps that out so especially with like uh brown sugar is definitely uh something that gets hard and kind of gross so i like keeping it in there pecan see i think all of y'all are midwesterners like me and by the way butter pecan ice see so here's the thing i say pecan but in I always say butter pecan. I don't know why. I think it's because it's like a name. Um, but yes, butter pecan. Be See, that's what I'm saying. I'll say it both ways depending on how fast I'm talking. Um, but that is the best ice cream of all time. Um, yes, full stop. There used to be this stuff. So I have never found it. And it was like one of those... Um, ice creams that you went to, I feel like it was Baskin Robbins or something, but when I was a kid, there was this Blue Moon ice cream and I was obsessed with it. And I have like never seen it again. You never see it in the grocery stores. Like, I don't know what it's made out of when I tell people that I'm like, yes, Blue Moon ice cream was amazing. I, everyone's like, I'd have never heard what you're talking about. Or they suggest some sort of like Tom and Jerry or Tom and Jerry's, Ben, ben and Jerry, Ben and Jerry's um, ice cream or things like that. But the best ice cream of all time. I have no idea what it's made out of. I couldn't even tell you anymore what it tastes like, but I remember it being amazing. Um, I got that at the Parliament Blue Moon. So good. I know it was like in this like mall that we had. And I think it was a Baskin Robbins. I think, I don't remember, I was a kid, so, um, but it was, yeah, we would go and we would do shopping and I would always, like, that's, that was my go-to is, um, so good. I don't, but I don't know, I couldn't even tell you anymore, like, what it tastes like, um, I don't know, but I just remember it being so good. I loved it, um, yeah, so, this is, got wildly off track, but, Point being, butter pecan is the best. Um, yes, full stop. So I'm trying to think. Actually, so when I lived in Texas, there was Bluebell ice cream, which is just like as a brand, amazing. Um, and so I really liked, they had one that was pistachio and it was almost like if you know, butter pecan had a baby with pistachios because <laughs> it's just like it's like pistachio ice cream with like a lot of pistachio nuts in it. And sometimes I would crunch up like pecans and put them on top. And that was amazing. But it was only Bluebell ice cream, um, that specific brand. I've had some other ones. I think Tom, and, <laughs> I'm just going to say Tom and Jerry ice cream now, but I think that Ben and Jerry's um, makes a pistachio that's like, OK, like it's good it's just like not bluebell ice cream so but you can only get bluebell in um texas so i think i don't think they, they distribute outside of but um so good anyway um hi chester this like you know this got wildly off topic because we were talking about pecans um but this is a set of five. These are all air glass or airtight glass containers. You can definitely put the glass, of course, into the dishwasher. My recommendation was to only keep these in your pantry. Keep them with dried goods, oatmeal, you know, sugar, pasta, cereal. I use and put in these too. Um, really, really great. They're also on deal today. That's why I wanted to share them. Um, super nice. So, um yeah, we're moving on. Don't put ice cream in them, though. <laughs> like, don't. Keep it, keep it dry goods. Keep it um, a pantry item. So, um, okay. Let's see. Food huggers. Okay, so this was one from yesterday, and I made a new video today um, because one of the questions that I got yesterday was, could you put it over a jar? Um, would it, is it waterproof or like watertight or this piece of hair is doing something weird? Um, so I wanted to make a video. So, cause I wanted to show you how you could kind of use these food huggers in like a lot of different ways. So these would obviously take the place in my video, for example, of like, um, any kind of 
aluminum foil, plastic wrap, saran wrap, whatever you want to call them, um, different kinds of foil, etc. Um, and these are completely reusable. They can go into the dishwasher. And this specific set comes in a set of five. So I have, I think one of mine is in the dishwasher right now, but this is like your larger size. And then it stair steps down to like some of your smaller sizes. So like I said yesterday, what you want to do is you just want to use whichever one is going to give you the tightest seal to whatever um, container you're using it on. So like this, I usually just kind of take them and like kind of place it over and kind of just to see what would be the best size because um, like this one's going to be too small. And so you're just going to take it and it just stretches over the glass and what you want to do is you want to make sure that it like completely seals on the side so in this case you can kind of see sometimes I just take it and I'll just like wiggle it just a little bit kind of up and down till you make sure that that silicone kind of goes all the way around so in this case it's like over the lip so it's fine even though it looks like it's kind of pinched, like it's fine. And then it's gonna create this watertight seal and it's also gonna create an airtight seal. So in this case, it's great for things like limes or apples or onions or like whatever. Exactly, you just wanna wiggle it, right, Michelle? Just a little bit. You just wanna make sure that it's like fully sealed. And most of the time I can do it on the first try. It's like when I'm doing it, like quickly like this that I mess it up but um, it is going to create that seal and like I said I did it like without using <laughs> any kind of speed here and then I like did it really fast so you guys could see like how well it's working um, but yesterday I didn't have a chance to kind of demonstrate it so I felt like this would be a little better option but if you are cutting things we're already talking lots of cocktails today so if you're cutting um, fruits, onions, limes, lemons, apples. Um, for avocados, which is obviously one of those ones that gets like mushy so quickly, um, they do have a special one for that. I've never tried it. I've only used like this set of five, but these work really well for everything. So you could use these and reuse these and stop using like, you know, aluminum foil and saran wrap, which don't really you know, definitely don't create that airtight seal um, and you can toss them out, but you could put these over, um, in this case, like a jar that you maybe don't have a lid for. You could put these over, this, this one's obviously too big, um, but you could put it over like a can of uh, something you're drinking, an open can of pasta sauce, whatever. You can use it anywhere that you would normally use a wrap. So they do come in those five set sizes, <laughs> I know. No, no, there's going to be no wiggling happening today. Um, but they do also have like a wide variety of sizes. This brand is called Food Huggers. Um, so it doesn't just have to be this set of five. Like I mentioned, they have some that are built like specifically for avocados. They've got some built for like smaller, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I thought that these were such really cool finds um, and ones that I like to use like for so many different things, especially like if you're cooking and you're prepping um, spaghetti sauce, for example, if you don't get around to using like the whole jar, um, stuff like that, because anytime you can create that like seal, um, you can, um, you know, kind of keep everything fresher longer. Um, so I realized really quickly, I'm going to add them to my stream. So I did a video today for the Nana hats and I shared these like back, um, man, Christmas time ish, I think, cause I was sharing them as like, kind of like a fun gift idea. So this also falls under things you absolutely don't need, but are really fun. Um, and these were on Shark Tank. <laughs> um, let me pull up. There we go. I have a video, but I want to make sure the sound was off. Um, and these are kind of like the food hugger. Um, let's see. There we go. 
these are so cute. So I was like looking in here. Um, so these, oh, <laughs> I was having like way too much fun making this video today. So I am a huge fan of Shark Tank. And so I was actually looking back because the last time I shared these, I couldn't remember if they got a deal from a shark. Um, and actually Lori Grenier gave them a deal with one of the um, kind of the like guest sharks. Um, so they got like a 20% stake, whatever, in two <laughs> Nana heads. And I think they're great. So the way that they work, because obviously they look super silly and they look, you know, kind of weird, but these are a little knit hat that goes on the top of your banana. So in this case, when your bananas are together, like in a bunch, they think, I guess, bananas don't think, but you get the idea, is that they are um, still part of the tree. They're still part of the bunch. So they are not going to ripen in the same way. If you slice off a banana like that, you rip it from the bunch, you can see that it has that kind of um, fresher, top and so what it's going to do is it's going to cause it to basically start more uh, start ripening more quickly so what it has on here is a little kind of like silicone cap on the inside and so this is going to go over the top of the banana and it's going to help prevent it from ripening quickly so it's actually kind of interesting there's like a legitimate kind of like a science <laughs> behind it um, because like once it starts ripening it kind of produces ethylene gas which is what is you know kind of able to you know escape or whatever you want to call it from the top of the banana so by putting this little silicone cap on it it kind of inhibits the you know ability for the banana to kind of absorb it and then therefore will last longer will it make your bananas last for months and months absolutely not um will it make it last for longer it will so of course these are super cute and i think you could honestly just use them as little finger puppets for children <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that they're great for that. Um, <laughs> I love that. Ooh, an ice beanie. That sounds awesome. No, I haven't. I feel like I'm trying to think of what other things that um, I've seen on Shark Tank. Actually, I always like I feel like this is like my one random useless fact, but like what <laughs> that no one cares about. But what I learned was originally Dorbot was the original ring and that was on Shark Tank. And I'm trying to remember, I think they got a deal with Kevin maybe, I think, but obviously you all know what happened since then and where ring is now. So super cool. Um, Scrub Daddy was a Shark Tank find. Um, what are some other ones? There's a lot of other ones, but this is super kind of fun and awesome. Hey, JLo, hello, Amazon customer, uh, hello. Thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Yeah, look up, that, that episode is very interesting because it was like, a, you know, obviously ring in its very, very, very early days. Um, but yeah, could you imagine like these people had this like idea and then phew, massive. Bombas uh, was a Shark Tank. Um, Blue Land is a really cool kind of like um, healthier alternative to uh, cleaning products. Really cool too. So I could go on all day about Shark Tank things. But point being, these cute little silicone sleeves can go over your bananas, either a single one in this case, or honestly, it's going to seal a little bit better over a couple different ones um, and prevent that banana from ripening as quickly. So there is this kind of like normal size and then there is a large size if you want to put it over kind of like the um, whole bunch of bananas, but these are easy. I drop it on the ground. They're very easy to wash and to, um, you know, reuse over and over again. So I obviously have this cute little octopus, um, but there are tons of, whoop, and the cat runs off with it. I mean, that's also true, right? Um, unbelievably true. So I'm going to move on from this fun video that I made. I had way too much fun doing it. Like I sometimes I want to like show people if they're like, what do you actually do for a living? And I'm like this. 
I do this. <laughs> um, so I did link just a couple. The um, octopus is what's highlighted right now. The monkey is also in um, the stream at the very end as well. <laughs> like, what do you do with your day? Well, I play with banana hats. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, anyway, so I think I skipped one last thing and then I think that's the end. Today ended up being kind of a longer one again too. Um, okay, let's just go in to this fun little pizza cutter. Um, this is, where did I slide to in the stream? There we go, I highlighted it. So this pizza cutter is another one of those little gadgets that I love. It's an under $10 fine, um, even if it's under $10 by a penny. Um, <laughs> and it's perfect for, you know, again, keeping little fingers away from sharp blades, keeping adult fingers from cutting themselves. Um, and it also is great if you are short on space and you need to put things in drawers or put things away and you can't have, um, you know canisters of like utensils on the countertop and obviously you're reaching into a utensil drawer for an open blade of a pizza cutter is just asking for trouble so it works very much like you think it might this is the handle right this comes here um acts as a little bit of a more kind of sheathed blade it also works a lot better i think personally than a normal pizza cutter because you can kind of put your weight into it if you are slicing something that's a little bit heavier because you can kind of press down as a you know as um opposed to kind of having to press forward but probably the best part about this is that it does have this cover so it does lock here into the handle like this so you just pull your hand over top, open it up, and then it will slide all the way down and then click and hold here. So of course this is your stainless steel blade. And then when you're done, you just pop open that cover and it'll click here and then it will close and stay closed. Um, it won't open up. And then of course, when you do need to clean it, it breaks into three pieces, all three pieces I toss into the dishwasher <laughs> all the time. Um, and it works really, really well, not just for pizza, even though that's kind of what they refer to it as. Um, those of y'all who have shared what you use these for, it's always fun for me. Um, I've heard slicing and kind of dicing up like cilantro and parsley like herbs i've heard um slicing crusts off sandwiches um you could actually slice cookie dough with this as well um lots and lots of different options for kind of how you could use this but most specifically it's great for like little fingers reaching into drawers adult fingers reaching into drawers um and also just keeping that blade sharp and making um the ability to kind of um, compact your dishes and utensils and silverware and all of that kind of into drawers and not have to worry about using countertop space. Um, so lots of different uses with that. I obviously am just using it here for pizza. I probably need to like update this video and I'll just do all the things that y'all kind of like suggested and shared with me and kind of make like a compilation video. Um, but as of right now, this is what I've got. Um, exactly. I think, yeah, Yogi was the one who said this piece of hair, um, was the one who suggested using it for sandwiches and cutting off crusts. I love it. So, um, really, really useful for that as well. So, um, thanks. Hi, Amy. Hello. As I'm like trying to get this annoying piece of hair. Um, and Amazon customer also, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it so much. Um, so just to go back to the beginning, I do think that it, it, you know what? It, it doesn't know what it wants today. It's, I don't know. It's like, mostly it's like, look, there's sun and it's like, we're used to rain and like, we you know, don't know what to do with ourselves because we're not frizzy, like all of that. Like, I don't know. Um, hey, Ava. Um, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. 
So sliding it just like right back to the very beginning, I think we talked about kind of everything in the stream. This has kind of been a longer than normal stream, I feel like. Um, so I do want to say um, with this, um, just kind of going back, I wanted to kind of focus on a stream that had tons of different kind of fun kitchen finds, unique finds. Um, and so just because we've been streaming for a little bit, I was just going to go back to the beginning, um, to a couple of the items that we like kind of started talking with that anyone who might have joined a little bit later kind of maybe missed. Um, and any kind of like a last minute like deals or anything like that so um let me see here make sure the gizmo still has a little bit left to um save but these are probably one of like my go-to's and so i added it again today in the stream because yesterday the kind of plain version plain version like what i have here was on a deal but today is the fluted variation which is just like a more decorative version kind of like the glasses that i shared it kind of has that ripple texture to it but regardless it's the exact same set it has um 24 pieces which is 12 individual containers so you're going to have your rectangle your square and your circular um, sizes in a small medium and large with like two of that small <laughs> ones do you have a retro fridge or one of those awesome kitchen tables so i don't have a um retro fridge i think they're fascinating i would totally have one um but the owners had a normal one and i don't need to buy a new one um and i really want one of those like four mica right tables with the silver wrap around them it fascinates me how expensive those tables are um especially if you are looking for like one in a good condition that's not like chipped or anything like that um alan of course this is amazon live this is an online live shopping stream um if you are looking for any help on any returns or anything like that you want to go to your account scroll all the way to the bottom reach for that contact and they will be able to help you i unfortunately cannot um and yes thank you jlo i appreciate it um so yeah, I want one of those tables, but it is, you know, eluding me yet. So um, I'm looking for one, but yes, there's a lot of, there's a lot of vintage. I'll like send, I'll like take a picture of like my old school, like mixer. I love it. Or like, I have so many like old swag lamps and things like that. But anyway, working on outfitting everything. So nothing in here is like, vintagey right now i don't think no um but regardless um i appreciate it denarius uh thank you for the follow um but just to <laughs> summarize really quickly y'all are getting me off track um these are um i love it so you know what the Feather, like the clip-in feather was very big when I was in high school, college. Like I know they say like fashion is very like um, cyclical. Um, so I did that. I had a lot of that um, back, in, back in the day, back in the day. Um, so just, <laughs> just going back really quickly, this is that set of 24. Great meal prep, freezer, oven, microwave. Um, you can do so much with these. I love how just airtight and leak proof that they are. Um, and the fact that you can just store so much and they can be used directly from the freezer, directly into the oven. Um, unlike plastic that might melt or anything else like that. Um, and those of you who have cooked in these before have told me that you love it. Um, you know, kind of to just put the lid on as soon as you're done with it and save it for like a later time. So, um, yeah, y'all, I need to find some old photos of old photos of me, um, from my like college days. I mean, it's not even that old, but I'm like, I definitely had little clip and feathers and like things like that. <sighs> Yeah, the like the eras of Ashley are always fascinating for me um, to look back on. But 
anyway. Um, also, just wanted to touch on these really quickly because this was a new item into the stream today. These are really great for um, space saving. These are a um, kind of like a little disc, I guess you could call it, that does expand to fit any kind of, you know, size coffee cup. Because of course, I mean, of course there's like a max size, but this would be a massive um, cup or glass or anything like that. Um, but you can easily stack them, unlike where you can see there, I've got a cup in a cup. You can stack them on top of each other, kind of keep the integrity of the cup, no chips, no breaking. Um, but you can also use them to create a lot of space in your cabinets, um, simply by being able to go more vertically there. So you can even see, those are my very vintage cabinets in my kitchen. Um, <laughs> so that's another one. Um, but, oh, I love this. It's so fun. Um, so like I said, um, really kind of a little um, fun and great option. I'm like reading in the chat. Y'all are getting me so distracted. Um, and they come in a set of six and they have these little grips here. So when you do put your glass on top, in this case, this one, for example, you're just gonna want to, uh, I'm gonna do it this way so you can see it a little bit better. You are just gonna want to size it down here so that these little um, rods, clips, nodes, whatever you want to call it, is hugging on to the side of the glass before you stack on like the very next one. And again, these are meant to stack things on top of each other. They are going to have a little bit of wiggle room. This is fine because obviously you're putting them into the cabinets, but I, they don't seal together so you're not going to want to try to move that entire stack because they could still fall so these are for storage and for stacking but definitely um, not going to keep them completely together so you don't want to drop and break anything um, okay i think that that's about it um, obviously if anybody has any questions questions at this moment, please let me know before we kind of um, sign off for today. Um, I'm going to take this video down. Um, oh, you missed the garlic guy. See, there you go. I can do the garlic guy. Um, boop. Look at that. I made a video just for you, Michelle. Um, I think we might have started here or like pretty close to, but so this is a little garlic crusher which i find to be so fun because it's you know a vampire um and garlic and all that um so it's a crusher i in this case peeled the garlic you do not have to peel the garlic let me just point out do not have to peel the garlic um but i in this case did so um it works exactly like you think that it might look or it might work however so you're going to take that clove and it doesn't have to be just garlic you could easily there we go we're like a little glitchy today so you could easily um do nuts you could do ginger you could do herbs you could anything that you kind of want to crush or that you would use like a press or a crush for you could use in here Again, you don't have to peel the garlic clove. I just did because I didn't want to pick out little pieces of, you know, shell. It's not shell, but you know what I mean. Um, so it opens up like this. This is your little crusher. And then this is your, um, the other kind of side of the teeth. And you're just going to place that center circle right in that center circle and you can even see in the video i really only did like three or four or five or so twists and it's going to crush up that garlic super super fast um i think maybe an onion would work in it yeah anything that you use to kind of um crush like if you've ever used one of those like nut choppers or something like that you could absolutely um crush it up if you want your onion to be more chopped um, it probably would kind of crush it up too fine, kind of like more of like a crush as opposed to like a dice or a chop, because um, these are definitely not blades. Um, so if you're kind of putting it in something like a sauce or something like that, and you want the um, 
especially with like herbs and garlic you kind of want to get the essence and that oil kind of crushed and out of it this would be a good pick for that so um, super cute super fun it's also part of this kind of like same brand um, that I <laughs> got introduced to with a fun like tons of fun little kind of quirky finds um, this is the garlic crusher I also added in the um, mushroom funnel so for where does the garlic skin go so that's why I'm saying that's why I'm like you can if you want to put it in there it'll crush and it'll separate and it'll pull the garlic skin off that's why I peeled mine because I just didn't want to have to go because it would be like in here um when you're crushing it so I would peel off all the like little bits of kind of like a flaky like onion-esque skin until it's just the outside kind of raw skin and then it would be really easy to pick out but that's why I like to peel mine first it takes like a couple seconds um but if you want to like pull it out so um and if I have to be in the kitchen I want it to be fun I agree um I definitely agree I keep DoorDash in business sometimes <laughs> like if I'm being honest um okay so like I said I did have a kind of just few like little fun quirky kind of like gift ideas but then also um some useful little kitchen gadgets um or anything even like kind of party adjacent etc um this could be like really cute for little like Alice in Wonderland like party too I'm just like on it here with like I'm clearly in like a party entertaining mode right now so I don't know it's my entertaining era as they would say but yeah um so just kind of to kind of conclude and finish out if you've never been to one of my live streams hi I'm Ashley um this is Swift Wellness so we've been doing it this week some just kind of like fun kind of kitchen um kind of like like all I think almost all of these I bet were under I'm like scrolling through at least under 30 if not more than that I would say um but all super kind of fun little gift ideas or kitchen gadgets let's go here um and I'm gonna put it back on my mushroom sweater or sweater as we kind of finish this out because everyone was asking um very true to size very fits but if <laughs> if you haven't um tuned in before you can go to my storefront um and watch any of these videos they get recorded they get uploaded and they live on um my channel for like 60 or 90 days or so but if you are watching live right now if you're on your mobile on the right hand side you can click my face there's a little plus you can follow or if you're on your desktop there's a yellow button that says follow um if you're clicking on that amazon will suggest my content to you when you come on so if i am uploading new videos which i'll be doing today doing new live streams etc you can see all of those like first and foremost they curate like a very um <laughs> they curate a very like a user first kind of customer first experience for you um but of course you can also anytime go to my storefront any of these once they're uploaded you can shop afterwards um if i talked about a deal a discount a promo code chances are it's not valid anymore um so that's the one that downside to watching recorded um and then if you are following i know it's a little on and off but if you are following um you will get notified when i do go live um, so you'll get that push notification if you have them turned on if you do not um, then you won't and if you aren't getting those notifications you might want to check to see um, if your privacy settings are blocking that also on your phone your iOS your Android system etc um, of course everybody who tuned in today thank you um, clearly I'm gonna wear more um, weird eccentric uh, clothing um, but yeah I am going to go with my day just a little bit past lunchtime in the Pacific Northwest. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for some more streams, I'll probably be back later this week, maybe either tomorrow, which is what, Wednesday? Um, 
or Thursday, maybe Friday, who knows, we'll see. I'm gonna just curate some more really fun streams. So of course, um, stay tuned. If you're going to my channel, you can also always turn on custom notifications for any of these streams by hovering over and clicking the bell in the upper right hand corner. Um, that will give you notifications specifically for this stream. Um, yesterday, somebody did say that if you log out, that it turns those notifications off, that little bell, maybe. I don't know, like I said, not a foolproof system. I know that some of you have messaged me and said it works and then other times it doesn't. We don't know why, um, but hopefully we get all that sorted out and worked out. So I think that that is it. So if anybody doesn't have any questions, I'm gonna sign off and then I will see everybody next time. Did, did it work when you reinstalled the app, Michelle? I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe update your. I think maybe if check to see if your app's updated. I don't. I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, but hit the notification bell. I like I said. I know some people get it. Some people don't. I don't know what is triggering or not triggering that. But um, yeah. So I think that that is about it so thank you jackie for the follow i appreciate it and i will see everybody next time so yes have a happy valentine's day fat tuesday taco taco tuesday i love it um and i will see everybody next time so bye